There is currently one hidden mechanic that is boosting win rates of the highest ranked players in Solo Shuffle. That mechanic? The new ping system added last patch. If you aren't using it in your macros, you're making a huge mistake. But not to worry, because in this video, we're diving deep into the 5 best ways to make the most out of the ping system in Solo Shuffle. Plus, we've got a hidden gem of a trick for 3v3 arenas that you won't want to miss. But before we get into it, time is ticking to get your end of season rewards. With Skillcap's rating game guarantee, we got your back and promise to help you achieve your goals. With a growing library of hundreds of videos, you can master your class, learning hidden secrets that actually work. And with our Ask a Pro forum, you can get on-demand help from expert players, including Rank 1 Gladiators and even BlizzCon champions. So what are you waiting for? Visit the link below to get started with an exclusive discount offer. Alright, let's get back to the video. If you're out there thinking pings won't catch on, think again. In every other competitive game, pings are used constantly, ranging from pinging enemy positions in Counter-Strike or alerting your teammates to assist you in League of Legends. Love it or hate it, Solo Shuffle is popular, but it can be incredibly frustrating without communication. Fortunately, this is where the ping system can save the day. Picture this, you're in a high stakes round of Solo Shuffle and it's the last game you need for that sweet transmog. You've played the game out a little and managed to force the enemy healer's trinket and you are so ready to take them out with a swap that would make even Waz blush. You go for it, you do the most damage you can, but your teammate is nowhere to be seen. The healer lives. What a wasted opportunity. If this scenario sounds all too familiar, you're not alone. It's a common problem that many shuffle players experience. Fortunately, there's a solution, the ping system. By utilizing pings, you can easily alert your teammates to the target you want to swap to instantly, without having to quickly type it out mid-game, preventing countless failed setups. Here's how you do it. Open up your interface options and go to ping system, and make sure all of these boxes are checked. Then you can configure unique keybinds for each of the ping types. Now we know what you're thinking. Five more keybinds, that's crazy! But there's a shortcut. You can actually combine pings into macros with other spells. Pick a spell that you always use on kill targets, like Fury of Elune. Make a macro that casts the spell. Then add a line slash ping attack right below it. That way, whenever we press Fury of Elune, our target will be pinged telling our teammates to help us with damage. No matter if you're a rogue who wants to swap to a healer with kidney shot, or a caster who needs your partner to come back and burst that overextending melee, the ping system has you covered. Pings aren't only useful for swaps though, they can also indicate to your team when you are bursting. How many times have you popped your cooldowns only to have your kill target cycloned on your go? It's not through malicious intent from your druid partner, it's simply through a lack of awareness due to no communication. With a quick ping added to your burst macro, you can help remedy this lack of coordination. Once again, just add a line into your burst macro with slash ping attack. You can let your team know your next set of globals can be the winning factor in the game and to act accordingly, be it with their own offensive cooldowns or through crowd controlling the healer. We've seen countless high rated players start to do this, like Rudar tying his ping to his Fury of Elune. This allows his non-voice team to know he's bursting, so they can connect on the same target, resulting in them forcing major cooldowns. Without this ping, there's a chance the DH would have simply attacked the Hunter, since he was also a viable target. Moving on, let's cover how defensive pings can be an invaluable asset in your kit. Every Restoration Shaman's main complaint in Arena has always been the same thing. People running out of their totems. Now, sure, you can blame their teammates lack of awareness for running out of the biggest throughput cooldown in a Shaman's kit, but it's a common consensus that Earthen Totem is incredibly difficult to see in the chaos of some matches. Not to mention relying on a dirt cloud visual on the sandy dunes of Tolveron Arena. This is where the ping system can come in. By macroing slash ping with your earthen wall totem, you quickly light up a beacon and create a sound for your teammates that's hard to miss. You don't need any additional syntax because backslash ping will automatically go in your cursor. And if they do happen to waddle out, a few disgruntled pings on the earthen will quickly remind them to get their ass back in there. It's not just Restoration Shamans that can benefit from this though, as this is a godsend for any class with an area of effect defensive. Demon Hunters in particular will love this, as they will no longer have to suffer as they watch their teammates jump out of that tiny, hard to see purple puddle called Darkness. There's going to be a ping there to remind them. Priests will no longer be gripping teammates back into that dome. Death Knights will no longer be watching furiously as their partner runs out of their AMZ. 
Well, okay, this is all in an ideal world, but a gentle ping reminder can't hurt when the payoff is getting maximum value from some of the biggest external defensives in the game. Next up, we've got crowd control. Every mage, hunter, or rogue will tell you that there is no worse feeling in the world than someone breaking their game-winning CC chain. You put all that time and mental resources into building the perfect setup, and it suddenly gets disrupted by some carelessness from your teammate, causing the go to be over before it ever could truly begin. Blizzard thought of this and put in a separate ping than the ones used for attack. Kinda. It's called warning. As in, I'm warning you, if you break this CC, I'm going to flip a table. To implement this, just add the line on screen to your crowd control macros, or adjusting the targets as needed. Here, we are casting polymorph on a focus target, and we can use the same syntax to focus ping. Here's a clip where you can clearly see the rogue using blind, and the warning ping appearing above the druid. This immediately alerts the death knight through a visual and a sound cue that the enemy druid is crowd controlled and he should not grip them in. This warning also allows the restoration druid to follow up the CC with a bash, which they may not have been aware of without the sound of the ping. If you're tired of your teammates tunnel visioning too much on damage or healing to recognize and help add to your CC chains, the warning ping can be a great addition to your toolkit. For our last shuffle ping, we have the all-important aspect of pinging enemy totems and guardians. We've all been there. The enemy restoration shaman puts down a healing tide behind a wall, and you just can't get there. Your teammate, on the other hand, is in the prime position to snipe it. However, they're too busy tunnel visioning to care about trivial things, like the biggest heal in a shaman's toolkit. If only there were a way to alert them. Well, now you can. Simply hover your mouse over and ping, and pray they pay attention. That warlock observer zapping everyone from outer space that takes your class five globals to kill compared to your teammates one mouse over ping so that everyone is aware of the floating octopus. That hunter pet is so close to death that could easily be tabbed to mouse over ping. The war banner on the other side of the map preventing your crowd control that you just can't reach. Well, you get the point. Now, with great ping comes great responsibility though, so try not to ping every totem or pet you see, only the important ones. For our final bonus ping for non-shuffle games, we have one that has been pioneered by none other than Captain Dampening himself, the one and only BlizzCon champion Swapsy. Swapsy often wins games by the age-old mantra of the four Ds, do damage, don't die. Through taking as little damage as possible while dealing the most damage they can, Swapsy's team will always try and win on the mana bar. Now, when the opponent is put into these games, they often have to try and drink to prolong the match, often with a shadow meld or a druid simply prowling and drinking in stealth. This can be a huge problem if Swapsky or his teammates are unable to concisely pinpoint where the enemy healer is drinking and share the information with each other. There are no exact callouts in WoW, and screaming, he's drinking on the pillar, doesn't always cut it. This is where the ping system comes in as the ideal solution to this problem. It provides the exact location where you want to ping. Instead of vague directions like, he's over there, which could mean a thousand different places, you can precisely mark the spot where you saw the healer disappear, enabling your teammates to stop the drink before it even begins. And with that, we've covered the best ways to use pings in the arena. We'd love to hear your opinions. Have you already been using pings? Are you planning to start using them? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. And as a reminder, with a skill cap membership, you can ping pro players in our Ask a Pro forum. We also got hundreds of videos and arena commentaries where the same players teach you the skills needed to crush the competition and hit your rating goals. All this and more is why we guarantee improvement. As long as you use our website, we promise you will get better faster than you thought possible. So what are you waiting for? Visit the links below for an exclusive discount offer. All right, guys, that wraps it up for this one. For now, we want to thank you all for watching. See you soon.